from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass on the Feast of the Transfiguration of the Lord. I am Father Roshan Lloyd de Souza. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contribution from an anonymous donor from Toronto, Ontario. This Mass is offered for the good health and peace within the family and for the repose of the souls for of her nephew, her brother Antonio, and all deceased family members. Our thanks to our donor for making it possible for tens of thousands of the faithful across Canada and around the world to share in this celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. As we celebrate the Feast of the Transfiguration of the Lord, God the Father invites each one of us to listen to his Son, Jesus. And as we begin this celebration, let us ask the Lord to fill us with grace and strength that we may listen to the promptings of the Spirit. To enter into this celebration, let us call to mind our sins and failings and seek God's mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for all of us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest Amen. and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers, and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship. Grant, we pray, to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I, Daniel, watched in my vision, thrones were set in place, and an ancient one took his throne. His clothing was white as snow, and the hair of his head like pure wool. His throne was fiery flames, and its wheels were burning fire. A stream of fire issued and flowed out from his presence. A thousand thousand served him, and 10,000 times 10,000 stood attending him. The court sat in judgment, and the books were opened. As I watched visions in the night, I saw one like a human being coming with the clouds of heaven, and he came to the Ancient One and was presented before him. To him was given dominion and glory and kingship that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not pass away, and his kingship is one that shall never be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks.
justice are the foundation of his throne. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The mountains melt like wax before the The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. To you, o Lord. Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah and Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Peter did not know what to say, for they were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud there came a voice, this is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one with them anymore, but only Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus ordered them to tell no one about what they had seen until after the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So the disciples kept the matter to themselves questioning what this rising from the dead could mean. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, can we think about once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for a moment? We hear this a lot. And it's all really exciting. Once in a lifetime, things are electric. They give us butterflies in our stomachs. They feel as though if we play our cards just right, 
we will go places and experience things that we couldn't otherwise. That one job, that one project, that one risk that we took, that one beautiful trip or tour, or the person that we met, or the client, etc. These certainly are opportunities that are incredibly unique and distinct in their particular flavor. There may not ever be another like it. What if Peter, James, and John refused to go with Jesus to the mountain of transfiguration? They would have missed the once-in-a-lifetime experience of heaven. They would have missed seeing Jesus transfigured before their very eyes. They would have missed seeing Jesus conversing with Moses and Elijah. They would have missed the opportunity to hear the voice of Heavenly Father telling them, this is my beloved son, listen to him. But they did not refuse the invitation of Jesus. They simply obeyed and went with him to the mountain of transfiguration. Thus, they had that sudden experience of heaven, and they knew from their own that if they would only be faithful to their discipleship for Jesus, they already have their own dwelling in heaven. Perhaps when Jesus told Peter, James, and John to go with him onto the mountain of transfiguration, Jesus also testing three of them. He was testing the strength of their faith and discipleship for him. They passed their test of faith, just like Abraham, who passed his own test of faith also. Thus Peter, James, and John were richly rewarded by God. The reward for three disciples were the foretaste of heaven, among others. As long as we live in this world, we will also have our own tests of faith. It will come to us in different forms and shapes. Let us remain faithful no matter how hard and difficult the test is, for there is always a reward for those who would be faithful and what is the reward? Life in heaven someday. The transfiguration took place at a critical moment in the life and ministry of Jesus. He had left behind the green valleys and gentle hills of Galilee and taken the road to Jerusalem where violent death awaited him. He realized that in Jerusalem he would meet the same fate as the prophets before him. He had already warned his disciples that he was destined to go to Jerusalem and suffer grievously at the hands of the elders and chief priests and scribes to be put to death and to be raised on the third day. When Peter began to remonstrate with him, refusing to accept his prophetic words, he rebuked him in unusually harsh terms. And we know in the gospel, he says, get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle in my path because the way you think is not God's way, but man's. Suffering and death were integral to his salvific mission. Today's gospel may prompt us to recall transfiguration moments in our own lives, moments of light, joy, and peace, moments when we caught in a glimpse of a transcendent beauty beyond the horizon of the habitual. In the words of Pope Francis, our Christian faith is not meant just to give us beautiful spiritual feelings. That is not the message of Jesus. We are called to experience the encounter with Christ so that, enlightened by his light, we might take it and make it shine everywhere. May our celebration of the Eucharist on this great feast help us to do just that. Amen. Let us now bring forward all our prayers and petitions before our loving God who listens to us. Let us pray for the church built on apostolic foundation that we may spread the message of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray. For the sick and suffering in our families and in our communities, for their healing, grace, and strength, 
we pray to the Lord. For all those in our daily TV Mass prayer intentions book, for them we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In our community prayer this month, we seek for ourselves and for the church a deeper love and understanding of the gift that the risen Christ makes of himself to us in the Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of this day, for our good and good of all this holy church. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by his radiant splendor, cleanse us from all the stains of sin, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he revealed his glory in the presence of chosen witnesses and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form which he shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples and that he might show how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled what so wonderfully shone forth first in its head. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Francis Leo, our Bishop, all religious, clergy, and the faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be called as to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Yeah.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us everlasting life. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul so that I may unite myself wholly to you, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you will to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the love of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our thanks to our donor for the gift of this Mass.